You know, a short ribs are a great cut of meat, but a little tough. Um, if I cook this, normally it takes hours of, of slow cooking and uh, usually dries out, but I found a great way to do them and it's in a pressure cooker. Uh, it's just really, it, it's got uh, a lot of steam. It's got a superheated steam that breaks down the fibers, uh, makes it tender, keeps it moist. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful way to cook. What I'm gonna do first is season these. We've got a, a, some herbs and spices here. I'm gonna just evenly coat it really good. What we're gonna do is season it and then let it set for a little while while we do a couple other things in the pot. But uh, the, the sooner you can season it and let it set, it'll marinate and, uh, and penetrate some of the meat, give it a little more flavor, uh, get a, a good head start on getting the seasonings uh, uh, working on that beef. I'm gonna coat it really good, both sides here. Do a little bit on the side. I'm gonna rub it in a little bit. That's the fun part. There we go, a couple more pieces here. I've got a, just a touch of oil in the pot because I'm gonna start the, um, the bacon in it, but I've, I've preheated it just a little bit just uh, to get the bacon fried. What I wanna do is I wanna fry the bacon crispy, uh, take it out, and then we're gonna start building the sauce from there. I'm going to start with the, the bacon here. Get in there, it's starting to sizzle already. I'm going to stir that around a little bit. It's not going to take long. The bacon is diced small. Just want to get it started, start to render it. Uh, we'll use the bacon fat that's in there uh, to build the sauce as well. It's going to give it a wonderful smoky flavor, uh, which, which you really want in a barbecue sauce. There, I've got it on about a medium heat. If it uh, starts to stick too much, you just turn it down a little bit because you want to get them nice and crispy. Well, that's for a couple of reasons. One, it has a whole lot more flavor, gives it a wonderful brown flavor. You also render more fat out of it, which we want to kind of build the sauce from. Okay, now I'm going to start pulling some of this out, and then we'll go to the next step, uh, which is going to be the onions. We're going to cook that for a while till they start to brown, and we'll take that out, and then we're going to do... Uh, we're gonna brown the meat off too. Browning is very important because it gives you a lot more flavor. It kind of caramelizes the outside of the meat uh, to give it a whole lot more flavor, bring the sweetness out of it. Um, and it's just gonna, it's gonna, also while we're doing that, it's gonna flavor the, the oil that's in here so that everything else we put in here will absorb that flavor. Yeah, now the onions are frying up really good. We just want to start to get a little brown on them on the edges. And we'll take it to the next step from there. This is a, 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 great, uh, a great dish for, for uh, you know, a Sunday afternoon when you don't feel like spending all day cooking. Just takes a total of about 30 minutes to do, uh, where normally it would take an hour and a half, two hours sometimes, depending on how big the short ribs are. These, I've got about three pounds worth here. And you can see they're pretty good size there. One of the things that I do when I'm cooking these is I'll brown them off and I'll wrap them in some cellophane and slow bake them probably about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, and they still come out a little bit dry from taking, you know, from cooking so long, but they, it takes that long to get them tender. Uh, in here, I'm gonna cook them about 25 minutes and then we're gonna put them back in with the sauce and make the sauce with that for another 10 minutes. So that's a total of 35 minutes. That's not bad for the short ribs, I gotta tell you. Okay, now I'm gonna start pulling the onions out. I'm gonna leave the fat in there because that's good. I'm gonna use that to brown the beef off. And these are beef short ribs, by the way. All right, now, time for the beef. I'm gonna layer them in there side by side, brown one side, and I'm gonna turn them over and do the other side. Just wanna get some nice color on them. God, it smells great already. Good color, get the fire all the way up. We wanna make sure that they're flat on the surface on the bottom, so I don't wanna put too many at a time. We'll cook, the, brown these three off, and then I'll take them out do the next three, just to make sure that we've got really great color on it. Color will, will give you a lot more flavor, give you a, a lot more uh, definition of flavor, which is very important in anything as far as I'm concerned. First three's down. Now, the little bit of um, fat that's on the beef, 
is rendering as well, mixing with the, with the bacon, uh, which is going to make a great sauce. Looks like it's ready to eat already, doesn't it? This is only going to take a couple of more minutes here to get a nice color on it. It's starting to stick a little bit, which is good because it's going to give me some goodness on the bottom, which is where the, the, the juices from the meat are starting to stick. When I put the water in there, it, it's going to deglaze it and pull those particles up, uh, which is also going to uh, help in the, in the barbecue sauce, really give it a good brown flavor. Okay, I'm going to take the beef out now, and I'm going to deglaze with the water. Man, if you could smell that. That's gravy already. In with the short ribs. Stack those dudes in there good. All right, now we're going to cover it up. So we're going to put the lid on. We're going to match the two arrows there. Get it on. Lock it down. We're going to put the regulator on. As it starts to get hot, the regulator will start to shake. Now the pin right here on the handle just popped up, and what it is is a safety device won't let you open it. And that's how you know that there's steam going on. It's going to start to rattle in a minute. We'll turn it down, just keep it a, a real nice simmer for about 25 minutes. Uh, then we'll take it out and we'll start the sauce. All right, so now it's been 25 minutes. Um, we cut it off, we let it set. It takes about, once you turn it off, about 10 minutes for the steam to finally build down. And you don't want to, you don't want to push it or rush it. You want to wait uh, and let it do it on its own. We're going to open it up now. Still just a hint of, spe of steam there. We're going to take a look at them. Wow. Looking good. OK, what I'm going to do is take them out. We're going to take the liquid out, go back in with about a half a cup, and we'll start building our sauce from there. Wow, these things are unbelievable. That was 25 minutes, and they look great. All right, very carefully, we'll pour the, the stock into a, a cup. And we're going to go back in with about a half a cup, not about exactly half a cup, like so. OK, we're going to go back in with the ribs. And then we'll start making the sauce on top of that, cover it back up, and cook it for another 10 minutes. All right. All right. So we're going we're gonna to go back in with the bacon. Kind of spread it around a little bit. It's all going to settle down. Onions. We've got chili sauce. Honey, and of course, a little bit of hot sauce. That's why we call it Louisiana barbecue. I'm going to put a little more seasoning on it into the sauce and sprinkle that evenly there. And I'm going to spread these oranges and these lemons. I've got four slices of, of oranges and uh, two of the lemon. Spread that out like this evenly, not stacked on top of each other and some roasted pecans. Okay. Now all we got to do is cover it back up again, line those arrows up, close it. Don't forget the regulator. Turn it up again. Now I'm going to turn it on high until the steam starts to build and get up there. I just want to get it back up to steam. Then I'm going to lower it down so it's just a, 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 a little tremble. And we're going to cook it for another 10 minutes. And we're going to have a great barbecue sauce and great ribs that are so tender they're going to you'll be able to break them apart with a fork. All right, so we cooked it 10 minutes. Uh, and then we want to quick cool it. So there's a couple of ways to do that. You can put it in the sink, run some cold water on it. Uh, that should bring it down very quick. Or you can set it in a bowl or a pan of water. Uh, and in less than 30 seconds, it will cool it down really quick. Then it's, uh, and it's ready. And that's what we've done. All right, well, let's open it up and see what we've got. I'm going to take the regulator off first. We can tell that the button is down, so we know that the steam is out, and we can open it up. Pull it open. Wow, wonderful barbecue sauce. Beef short ribs in a Louisiana barbecue sauce.